Hello and welcome back my friends. We are going to do a self massage for carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, now I suggest that you get an actual diagnosis to know that it is carpal tunnel because there are other things that can um, cause the same symptoms. Um, anything any nerve impingement along the brachial plexus like thoracic outlet syndrome, something like that, you could have issues down here and you wanna be treating the right area. But if it is actually carpal tunnel syndrome and you have an impingement right in the carpal tunnel, that median nerve, um, you'll probably be having some symptoms going on in these fingers here, or maybe half of this finger on this side. And um, it's very uncomfortable and can be very painful. I looked around and a lot of the videos and information online are um, quite aggressive when it comes to self-massage um, for carpal tunnel syndrome. And I wanna back off of that because if you have a nerve impingement or a nerve compression, the last thing that you wanna do is go and compress on that carpal tunnel and you know trap the nerve some more. So I wanna take it really easy. I'll show you a few techniques and then I will show you something called nerve flossing, which can be really helpful. If it's too intense, don't do it, hold off till you're feeling you know, like it's like it's improving, like it's a little a little better. So um, let's just start with a gentle hand massage. So just doing like a little circle right here on that thenar eminence only as much as feels good to you. That could be pretty sore for everybody, not even just people with carpal tunnel syndrome. And circles, I'm just using four fingers, circles on the palm. And of course you can relax your hands down. I'm just holding it up so you can see. Taking the thumb, just sort of like a fan Move the tissue out. This feels so nice, I love this one. Move out, so we're between the bones, we're between those metacarpals. All the way up there. And move on to the next. In between, yeah, you can see that. And up here. Great. Really, really soft, really gentle. Let's just take four fingers and do a little circular massage on the wrist. You can relax your arm down, of course. If anything is hurting or not feeling good, don't do it come back another day. And while we're at it, let's do the back. This is just really relaxing all those muscles that have gotten so tight from sort of being guarded because of the nerve compression. And when we have pain, our muscles also seize up because it's signaling something's wrong in the area. So the muscles get really tight. It's really important to be able to let them go because that could add to that compression if the muscles are tighter. Okay, so you see I'm going all the way down the forearm at this point. And I'm actually doing both sides. You could do that, I didn't intend to, but um, I'm actually doing both sides. I'm using my thumb on the front and four fingers on the back. It's a time saver if you <laughs> if you've got to be somewhere. It's the front part that's going to be super sensitive though, so go light there. You could put a little more pressure on the back if it feels good. All right. Now we're going to do some active myofascial release. So I'm just going to take my fingers go right on the wrist and very very gently I'm using hardly any pressure. I'm just going to let the tissue take me as it releases. Now that might be enough for you. If you want some more, you can start to flex and extend the wrist. Um, you could add the fingers in there too. That, that would actually make it even more intense if you curl the fingers and bring them all the way back, but you don't have to go that far. Find your edge, find what feels good to you that's not irritating the nerve, that's not causing symptoms, 
but that just gives you a nice gentle stretch and release. And now you can use um, a soft fist, like the soft knuckles, or you can use your thumb for this, whatever feels best. In this position with my arm up, it's easiest with my four fingers, but really you can use whatever tool is best. You can even use a ball, you know, like a, like a tennis ball or a lac lacrosse ball to roll gently up. That's more of a, of a, a regular massage with a ball rather than a, a myofascial release, but that's good too. I like the myofascial release. Seems to be really effective. So you want to do that a couple times. Maybe the second time you'll use a different um, a different tool. So this time I'll use a soft fist. Now if you use a thumb, you can get into very um, specific areas. So you could do it a few times, maybe working your way from inside to outside or something like that. Or you can do a broad surface by doing um, the whole fist, the whole knuckles. As you go back, you feel a stretch. As you go forward, it slackens. Great. So give it a shake out. Let it fall down by your side. Take a nice deep breath. And release. Notice if it feels more relaxed, more at ease, maybe even a little more flexible. So we're gonna try some nerve flossing here. Um, if it's, like I said, if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Come back to it a different day. But we're gonna go really easy. We're gonna, gonna go really slow. So if you take your arm like this, if you're not having any symptoms, then go ahead and bring your wrist back. So this is stretching the median nerve. It's stretching it towards the hand part. But then if you flex the wrist and bring the ear to the opposite shoulder, you're stretching the part that goes up to the neck. That's flossing. It's going back and forth as if you were flossing your teeth. So you go this way with your hand out and this way. And now if you feel an edge, like you feel like, okay, I'm bringing my hand out right there. I start to feel symptoms. Don't go anymore. Just stop there and go the other way, right? You don't wanna go past that edge. If you want more of a stretch, you can move your arm farther behind you and that'll get you more of a stretch. Really keep it straight out 90 degrees though. And then do it like that. And a little bit more would be if you also turned your head and looked down towards your armpit. Just do this like six, seven, eight times to start. If it feels good, um, you could do it a few more reps, you know, the next day. Um, check in with your doctor about it, see what they what they recommend because everyone's situation is, is different, but this is a nice gentle way to start. These are gentle um, tools for you to just be able to help your own pain symptoms and, and nerve symptoms and get it really on the road to healing, which your body knows how to do. It just needs a little help doing it. So thank you so much. If this helped, um, please subscribe and like the video and give me some comments below. Let me know what else ails you and what else I can do to help. Um, I take video suggestions all the time. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.